Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to some of you and peace to the rest of you. Blackheart signing black in again asking you to hit the share button because the message is more important than the messenger. Um, and that being said, uh, thank you to those who hit either the like or the share or the subscribe, either one. I do appreciate that in either case, but it's the uh, share button that I will request that you hit because of the necessity and the importance of the message over the messenger. That being said, um, uh, at the end of the day, there's been an issue with um, these the uh, Darwinists, and I've been patient to a certain extent, largely because I don't hate them. It's nothing personal. It's nothing like that. But um, when BGS decided to leave, uh, understandably because of uh, his daughter's safety, we all understand why any dad would do that. We get it. I mean, he's a, he's a dad. He's a father. And fathers look after their cubs. And fathers try to defend them. I don't get to live with my kids because I have to live out of the country. But even in my case, um, even in my case, I do what I can to look after them. And they're well looked after at this point. By the same token, um, I don't have the experience that BGS has. And so I can't really do exactly what BGS has been able to do for the young guys. But what I can do is I can tell you how to get to the knowledge level of someone uh, like him. If you live long enough and you do what, I, what I'm uh, trying to advise, you will, in fact, be able to... Uh, you'll be able to see through myths that a lot of youngsters... Uh, falsely believe because they just don't know because they didn't live during your time and it's not their fault. A lot of younger people make the mistake of thinking that there was a time when the world made sense. No, every generation went through the same thing, I guess. Every generation has tried to make sense of the world. And then when they get to an age where they can make sense of some of the things around, they at least make sense of what they know about, then the world changes. And they say, wow, there was a time it made sense. I mean, for me, there was a time it made sense. I was able to plan my future uh, pretty much as early as sixth grade. But then um, halfway through seventh grade, I couldn't do it anymore. I could plan some things about it as early as fifth grade. Sixth grade, I had a plan. I finished my sixth grade year with a plan for the future. Seventh grade, I realized this, this is not going to work. Some of it were things that I just did not know beforehand. But then other parts of it, uh, there was also the issue of, uh, there was also the issue of things that actually changed. And they really did change within a year and a half. And these were things that affected me. They affected not only um, me, but they affected other people around me. And they also affected what um, it affect, they affected how I was going to be perceived and therefore what options were available and other people had to go through the same thing I mentioned before how it was that even when I went to college in Atlanta there was some guy that was always mistaken for well I was mistaken for him I should say now he got to go around and do all these ignorant things to women and make them upset but I was the one that got the cold shoulder treatment and didn't even know why I was getting it because then again, this was based on perception. In the 80s, that would not have happened. But I went to college in the 90s. And that's exactly when it was going to happen. Preconceived notions. I was guilty of things that other men had done. And a lot of that was a blowback from the 80s. A reaction. The pendulum uh, swinging too far in the opposite direction. Specifically because of what had taken place during the 80s. This happened to a lot of people. If you pay attention and you read history first, the history of what happened before you uh, were either of age or before you were born, and then you look at certain patterns and you study people's motives and you read in order to try to challenge your preconceived notions that you may have, you get to his knowledge level. But let me go ahead and get straight to the point of this. 
part of that is why it is that I'm saying that many of you Darwinist, I'm talking about you uh, sexual and mating Darwinist, fail to realize certain things, and that is that the manosphere is not just about uh, unselected guys going after you because you were selected. It's really not about that. Now, there are guys that go through that stage. Usually, they're very young. They haven't had time to reflect. So I'm not saying that does not exist, but they're usually in the comments section. They're not necessarily out there making content. They're reacting and commenting to the content put out there. The ones that are making the content are not so much upset about what their preferences are. Again, as I've said before, as they are upset about the lies told about these preferences by the ones with the preferences. It is the dishonesty. And I don't know how many times I got to say this before it sinks in. And there is a historical problem of our sisters looking down on us as a whole and even looking down on others of our sisters that don't categorically look down on us. We are the most hated. They have said that they are hated even by black men. The fact remains that when I looked at it, I never could find black men having a basis to hate black women. Because black men did not pass down generational knowledge of what previous generations of sisters had done or what had happened within previous generations of sisters. We didn't know about the daughters of the trade. I had grown up believing uh, due to historical and cultural accounts that black women were not into white men and therefore uh, the race mixing was largely due to rape in the South, the antebellum South. It turns out that, you know what, there was rape and granted, legally speaking, I, I mean, I always tell a white guy, no, it had to be rape because if she didn't have the if she didn't have the right to not consent, then God damn it, it was rape. That's what I tell them, because that's what the hell they need to hear. But what I'm going to say to you is apparently there were forced uh, mixing and then there was the consensual mixing. In other words, there was a, there was a mixing where she didn't mind. Granted, it wouldn't have mattered if she had, but there was a mixing where she did not mind. We have to come to understand that there have been throughout the generations, the ones that did not turn their backs on black men and the ones who did turn their backs on us, the ones who didn't necessarily automatically look down on us and the ones who automatically looked down on us because master looked down on us. Historically speaking, there has been acceptance on the part of many black women that they are better than us because they could get jobs before we could get them. This has always been the case. And so elders, unfortunately, uh, older black men did not pass this down. So we really didn't know about this. And you Darwin is to sit in here talking about, well, it's just nature. It's just natural selection. You spouting uh, a, a, a philosophy from a white dude who said that people came from monkeys and he looked like one himself. And he was using that to say that the white race was fully evolved and fully human and we uh, darker people were less human than whites. That's why he came up with this theory in the first place. He was trying to uh, uh, use pseudoscience to back up white supremacy. That's what he was trying to do. So now you're going to take that and use that to justify atavistic mating tendencies in a group of women uh, that have been through a hell of a lot of trauma. And I do give them that. They've been through a lot of trauma. And you want to sit up and justify traumatized mating tendencies with this. That's white supremacy. And you're sitting up here trying to take white supremacy and throw it into black bedrooms. That's not acceptable. It's not even, honestly, it's not pardonable. Now, many of you may not have known the history, but again, if you don't read history, of course, you're not going to know it. Do you niggas even ask questions about this kind of stuff? No, that's the other part of it. So you have, you're not even reading the history and you're taking the white guy's ideas and you don't even know where you got them from and you start talking about natural selection. Now there's such a thing as natural selection and sexual selection, but you're trying to use that to justify traumatized atavistic mating tendencies that do not exist around the world. Now in some individuals they may have existed and let's just call it what the hell it is. 
yeah, they've, and they've existed among some individuals, but also among many more individuals, they were allowed to make their own choices to a certain extent. And when they made their own choices, these choices were natural. No one said to them, your choice is unnatural. You liking this normal man because you and he get along well is not is unnatural. No one came along and said that. Now, they may have said this guy has more stuff to give you. They may have said that or they may say you should like this other guy more because his dad is the chief. People may have said these things, but they didn't say it is unnatural for you to like who you like. That's not something that was uh, constantly said before. Now we're dealing with a case wherein one group of women who's been traumatized have been told, you're stupid because you like this. You're dumb because you like this. Uh, because, I mean, you're, you're an idiot because you didn't weed out 86% of the men in order to, to choose this guy. And you're sitting up here saying that's the right, uh, right way to be. In other countries, a gym membership might help, but it's not required. In other countries... Even wealth to a certain extent may help, but it's not a requirement. And when I say requirement, I mean a requirement to get cooperation and submission from women they find attractive who did not bring in a brood of other men's kids. Only, I wouldn't say only among us, but definitely among us and among the ones who traumatized us. And among uh, the ones who come from a specific subset, a subculture within Latin America called the gang culture. Because the whole Latin culture is not like that either. So it is only in, in uh, uh, communities where there is a gang culture that you see this and you want to sit up here and act like it's some, something that's always been natural. No, no, no. Just because women don't want to be around punks and be with punks does not mean that it is natural for them to look for guys who seem to have no sort of conscience. Stop justifying that. That being said, again, it is the lies that they've told that have gotten brothers riled up and angry. Though at least the ones of us that are making the content and recording it. And we're not required to be patient so that they can be stupid. And we're not required to be mature so that they can be immature. And we're not required to be wealthy just so they can be poor. And we're not required to wait until our 30s and 40s so that they can come along in their 20s with the mindset of a teenager. And we're not required to be excellent providers so that they can sit back and be responsible parents and then blame us and say that we naturally suck as parents simply because we have testes and testosterone. Uh, some ladies, we gotta get rid of that mindset and you ain't helping. I hope this has been a benefit. Black horse sign of blackout. Asalaamu Alaikum.